Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers, to Dawn of Man. With our settlement of Gypsy Rose, the last time we left off, we got proper agricultural settlement fully realized as we got to our maximum limit for goats and almost to our maximum limit for sheep. That means we will soon, soon have... Uh, that's a stables, right? That means we will soon, soon have the maximum amount of animals that we're going to be able to have anyway. Or that we're going to want to have, rather. Enough animals to maintain our entire society with wool outfits through the winter. And we don't have to give anybody care about the summer. Although we do have a flax field. Like... Here? Somewhere around here. A sheep has died of starvation. For some reason, we guess. And let's see how quickly our people get on the proper train. They probably won't get on the proper train very quickly, sad to say, but it is what it is. We did tell them to kill a lot of things, even though that's no longer a very sustainable way to do things. Do we have a... Tree Choppy? Come on, you're a Tree Choppy, aren't you? You're a tree choppy. Okay. That gets things done. We've acquired 100 milk. We're right now working on the Copper Age, but we're not actually working on the Copper Age, if you know what we're saying. What we're really doing is just working on getting to, like, over 100 people. Uh, we can continue to not have to worry about things like that. Because once we get over 100 people, then we'll go into the Copper Age. We've been told by some to uh, make sure of that. Oh, maybe finally we'll be able to plant some things over halfway through the spring. Ooh, great idea, guys. Oh, here we go. How, so you think they'll get on it really fast, or you think they'll... Uh, it doesn't matter. If you want to see, remember to leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, leave a comment uh, supporting the settlement of Gypsy Rose down in the comment section below, and remember to share, oh, and hit the bell, you know, and all that good stuff. Also, biggest thanks, of course, go to our patrons over on Patreon, without the support of which we would have never done or even started any of this YouTube in goodness. So consider becoming part of their wonderful, amazing, honored, legendary number by going to the description for all those places to support us, going to Patreon and pledging even just a dollar a month. Every dollar helps. Without further ado, let's get on with it. Uh... That was... Uh, Pretty pitiful, not gonna lie. Really quite pathetic, honestly. So we expect some people to die this time around. Although we are bringing in food still. What with the fact that some goats have just got to go at any given point in time. Hopefully, that will help, although we just don't have the food for the goats, is our main issue. And we're not gonna have the food for all of our goats over the course of the winter because we just didn't plant enough. We hope that doesn't make a goat death spiral. Although we are cutting some things, that's better than not. It's upticking our food just a bit. We realistically don't have to have tons of food like over here. We just have to keep it above that white line. We're going to do our best to do that, but it's not looking like it's going to be terribly exciting or uh, hopeful in this future to do it. Let's do with it what we can. However, and stock ourselves up with literally everything we can get our hands on. Boop. Uh. We will have no shortage of wool in the future. So let's just maintain that. 
We need more outfits. Some might say desperately. And we need more weaving, some might say desperately. But we're not going to let that get us down. We're going to keep it up and keep going. Whilst people cut things down and bake bread and make stuff, we've got an uptick. Some guy died of old age. That's good in this area. You want to die of old age. That means you lived a long life probably surrounded by your loved ones. Alright. So, we know for a fact one of the things we can do is this. And then... Come on, buddy. Where'd, where'd you go? Ah, We don't like it when we lose our little doodles. We don't like that at all. Okay, here it is. We're here like, now it's lost forever. Look what happened, guys. Look what we did. Alright, back to our normal view. Whoa, wait a second. Oh, no. Nope, trick of the eyes. Yeah, we thought we'd checked that a million times already. Alright. Our workload, as always, is just too high. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. We've got some goat slaughtering and milking to do, we suppose, so... Yep, we've got 30 goats here and 25 sheep from here on out. It's just straight profit. And fortunately, we might even have enough to guarantee that half of our flock su survives over the year. Good luck. Not enough stable space. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna be murdering like five of them oldest goats anyway, and... That's going to keep us fed throughout the winter, and then once it's all over and done with, and the summer, or the spring, rolls back around, we'll go back to properly planting a nice harvest. Already taking care of them goats. Nice. It looks like we might even get under 200% before the end of fall. Oh, no. No, too much to hope. Too much to hope. Maybe? It's stubborn. No, we don't think we're gonna we're gonna see under a two hundred percent workload. Very high. Well, but we are we do have a pretty pretty sufficient amount of people on things. We're not unhappy. Oh, look at that. Wool outfits for plenty. Skins outfits for some why do we have skins outfits? Okay, we gotta Alright, and... No? No? We guess that's just the state of being as it was for a while. Oh no, one moment. No, no, yeah, no, it's just, just how it is. We don't want things to slow down, even if there's a storm. It appears that it is winter, so people are dutifully planting more things, like they do, like they should do. We have a very impressive amount of food here, and we tend not to sink that low in winter, so we're darned sure... Nice, got enough cloth. So we're darn sure, darn sure, that we're going to live through the winter. Especially considering that we've got no shortage of animals that we need to butcher because there are just too many of them. We do not want more than 25 goats. We do not want more than 25 sheep. Same I am. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, that's some serious stuff right there. You gotta make sure of that. Uh, it's getting pretty cold. Some people are staying inside. We can't really blame them all that terribly much. We're going to come out of this season just fine. 
Especially considering that we're halfway through it and we barely dipped it all. Got some more wool outfits too, and that's really, really helpful. It's because it means more people can work outside at any given point in time. Eventually, we'll have our entire population covered by woolen outfits. Do you have straw? Then you have just made yourself a friend to our community. We don't need that though. But we, we will take that log and those fish and that meat. Uh, we happen to have too much sheep right now. Oh ho ho, yes, go away. And give us things to feed our animals and keep them from dying through the winter from starvation. Largely, that's what we care about. What? Kill that thing. And kill that thing. It's cool. You didn't, you didn't like, hope? And then, no? Yes. Yes. We are literally just doing this because it's so much easier to capture them. And then kill them? Because they're babies. And babies are just inherently way more useful. <clears throat> if we have a bunch of baby goats rolling around, we won't need to worry nearly as much about our old goats. Oh, look at the little sheepies. All right, almost, and we've kind of leveled out. We've got the food we need. People are planting the rest of the fields. I mean, they didn't get them all planted, but it's it's looking like they have indeed planted some things. That's what's important. Look at that. Bam. So let's see how they handle this season. It's it's bringing going to bring a lot, actually, like a lot, a lot. They'll need to plant, they'll need to produce tools, they'll need to slaughter a bunch of animals. Frankly, they'll have probably more than 300% to do for the entire season, although that we see that they are smartly slaughtering quite quickly. So, uh, yeah, let's look and see how they work with that for now. Uh, we can see things disappearing periodically in the field, so they're at least doing their job from day one, which is a, what we really wanted them. If even a few of them do their job from day one, most of them will have enough grain to make bread throughout the entirety of the winter. As though we didn't already have enough. As you can see, they are indeed clearing things back quite quickly. A new human, Two new humans have joined the settlement. Very good, now get to work. And most of the uh, uh, settlement of Gypsy Rose is now working in the fields. So we think now halfway through spring, it's probably comfortable to say that this time around, we will have all of our flax, wheat, grain, uh, straw, everything. We'll probably have it all taken care of. Oh, a raider attack. I mean, it's five guys. It's just like five guys. All right, everybody, run out. You know what to do. We've done this before. Get the high ground, of course. Oh. Now in mass, attack! Ah! Oh, now the whole group, everybody's coming now. We'll zoom in and get a little 
Oh, we got just random dudes coming out of the bushes. Ooh, Horzok and, uh... Horzok and Marzor just rolling out of the bushes like, What? An attack? Rawr! Rawr! Yeah! Take it. Yeah, no worries at all. Now everybody just goes right back to business planting the fields. They know it's death just as much if they don't get the fields planted as if they get attacked by raiders. It's death. They've, they've all, their cultural history remembers a year during which they realized that they couldn't sustain themselves on hunting anymore. Now, if a herd is just walking through the community, great. They'll kill and eat that. But if, it, you know, generally speaking, they can't... Oh, Horzak got an infection, but it's worth it. He was one of the heroes. Yeah. So, you know, but if, if they find uh, that nothing's walking through the area, they have goats and sheep more than enough to feed their protein needs now. Bam. The summer started, and we have, of course bountiful fields look at these kablam real good stuff maybe not all of the fields were planted we guess but that's fine that be the fine are we ever we guess not whatever doesn't really matter so yeah we're also clearing out this area over here for eventual expansion because for real dog obviously People are continuing to make delicious pulses, all so that society as we know it can continue. And apparently there's a wolf attack somewhere. This isn't going to end well for you, buddy. Whoa! Bro, who are you? Varvek, what an OG! Wow! Go for it, buddy. Once again, we're not even going to bother trying to keep all of these goats alive. Our primary concern is keeping about 25 goats alive. We need more milk. Because we need cheese. Which they haven't implemented yet, or even, so far as we can tell, considered. Ooh. Those foul people trying to keep cheese from the masses. They're uh, an Illuminati of lactose intolerance. <laughs> or something. Uh, silly, silly. Not enough stable. Good, good. We don't want all of these animals to be alive. Dude died of old age. That's where it's at. Uh, we like sickles. We uh, like logs. And we like food. And we will give you too much wool. Bam. Good. More stuff for our society. Yeah, it's pretty nice, actually. Our people are, of course, still perpetually overworked and underpaid, but at the very least, they're well-fed and will soon be extremely comfortable in their wool clothing. Speaking of clothing, should we get another outfitter around here? We think we should. How much uh, cloth do we get? We don't actually... Oh, we get some cloth. Okay, fair enough. One outfitter it is. Ka... Blam. Do we have somewhere? Heck, why not expand in the right direction? Or alternatively, we don't need to do that because you have to have your stupid tutorial window in the way. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Proceed toward the next lake. And... Make... Is there a fireplace here somewhere? Yes, there is. So, we'll need to make... A well. Also. Boom. Right there. Accidentally put that there, but that's good. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Got this lovely little nestled community. We do not like that there is so little land around here. So we're gonna make this hilltop a flax place. Or at least a little bit of flaxy place, we guess. I guess flax likes hills from what we hear. It, it's an elevation kind of oriented plant. No? Okay, here we go. Bam. Alright, boom, look at that. 500 grain. Right, it's the fall. People have been graining. Not graining nearly as much as we'd like, we guess. But they're... they're graining a bit. We wish they would grain considerably more. But they're graining. They're graining enough to take care of all of our animals throughout the winter. Suppose that's most important. Can't quite breach a hundred yet, or quite breach fifty yet. They're graining. Graining is good, keep it up with the grain. Unlike with grain, or unlike with planting, if you're just chopping and winter comes over, it just shloops away from you and all the plants suddenly disappear and you're like, oh man, come on, I was chopping here. See, boom, gone. Just, and that guy there is like, oh, okay. That's rude. Alright. We can do that. But afterwards... That's that, buddy. Get out of here with your rocks. But we do have many, many good enough things. We have too many animals. We need to kill many of our animals. Like, very many of them. Just murdiddlyurk dirtler all of them. <laughs> Just go buck wild. <laughs> Oh. Well, let's see. Let's see. Oh, a thousand bread. That's, uh, that's actually a really respectable amount of bread to have. To be fair. Oh, blam. Peas! You know, just to be cruel and unusual... And because we love lentils so much. Oh, two seconds. Love lentils. Just gotta lentil it up, man. More pulses for all. More lentils. Some of our people do not have warm clothes. I mean, some of them don't, but like... Just under half do. Well, keep going. Faster now, faster. A storm, you say? No reason to stop working. Oh, yeah, wow, our food has gone up, like, higher than it's ever been before. We're cool with this. Maybe we should... Th that, that place looks awful lonely. And so maybe we should put something out here, like a little house by the tree, or... You know what we're talking about. Something to make this hill into a home. Oh, some sheep have died of starvation. Good. What with the fact that we don't need them all anyway? Survive the winter. Very good. Maybe we should... Try to search around. Oh. Come on. Oh. Alright. Slowly but surely... 
the community expands. Good. Gradually making our way toward the second lake. Expanding our community through the valleys. And hopefully, hopefully, oh, it looks like, yeah, it looks like planting here for the spring is actually set really high. So, uh, yeah, it's looking like we might well even have an extremely successful planting season as well. So, if you're excited to see that, excited to see more of what we do and the kind of stuff we play, please do remember to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell icon for all notifications, and uh, comment with some more encouraging words for the Settlement of Gypsy Rose down in the uh, comments section below. Also, of course, consider sharing, and sh biggest thanks to our patrons, as always, over on Patreon for all of their support, without which we would have never started any of this awesome YouTube careering in the first place. So consider becoming part of their awesome, honored, legendary number by going down to the description where we have all of our links for places to support us, like our Discord and, of course, our Patreon. Go to Patreon and consider pledging even just a dollar a month. Every single dollar helps. And uh, we also make regular content there, so you're not just getting YouTube if you go there. You're getting all sorts of other stuff. So thanks a bunch. Y'all stay safe. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great day. Stay clean. Stay healthy. Stay indoors. Save lives.